What's up, guys? How are you not doing now? I hope you're not doing okay. Thank God this weekend, and I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. In the midst of uh, the kidnapping uh, syndrome that is currently in Nigeria and uh, mostly in Abuja, that has prompted uh, many Nigerians to call out the authorities to act quickly, there's an issue, a trendy issue, going on currently. So I will try as much as possible to elaborate and explain the matter. So this guy was tagged as a notorious kidnapper in Nigeria. A notorious kidnapper in Nigeria and was arrested. And according to a report, according to Sahara report, they said Nigeria police arrest notorious kidnapper in Abuja recovered theory locally made pistol. Then according to the Nigeria police, on their official page, they said Nigeria, uh, sorry, they said arrest of Abuja notorious kidnapper, Chinaza Philip. The FCT police command wishes to confirm the arrest of one Chinaza Philip, a notorious Abuja kidnapper by police operative of the Kaduna State Police Command on Thursday 18th. January 2024, today is Saturday, two days ago. The suspect had been added over to the FCT police command today, being Friday 19th, January 2024, are currently in police custody. Details soon. That was the report. And honestly, I was also happy that all those kidnappers have been arrested. But this one, there's some crazy stuff around this particular guy. A lady who claimed to be a sister to this guy said her brother is not a kidnapper. That her brother was paid to act as one one to the dent evils. One was paid to act as a kidnapper to further damage Ibu's name. They say this guy was paid to act as a kidnapper to further damage evil name. I'm not going to defend this guy because either way, this guy deserves to be arrested. To, to, to be allowed to, to allow himself to be used as a tool of tool of destruction. Either way, it's a kidnapper or not kidnapper, he deserves to be arrested. This is the girl who said this kidnapper is a uh, brother. But I want this girl to also prove it further so that we can support or I cannot just believe any propaganda online. This girl should make a video backing up her claim that this is actually her brother. Because this girl further re reveal messages between her and her brother. Her brother telling her that there is a job that he wants to do for the police. The sister asked which kind of job. He told her everything according to the chat. Her sister said, do not try it. Don't try it. But the guy went for that to do it. According to the chat, oh, I am not there. I cannot be a witness. According to the chat. Now, Nigerians are confused. Because if indeed that guy not a kidnapper, but acted to be a kidnapper. It will further damage the good name of Nigeria police. Because even a uh, popular activist, Aisha, Aisha posted, he said, theory locally made what? That's what she posted. See, notorious kidnapper. These are the notorious kidnapper we know. <laughs> Look at them here. <laughs> These are the people we know as notorious kidnappers. <laughs> With long, this AK-47 and every heavy, heavy uh, ammunition. These are the notorious we know. Theory locally made gone. Well... We do not know who is saying the truth. Now, if indeed the guy was a kidnapper or it was used as a tool to damage Ibu name. One of the crazy facts again is that this name 
This particular name this guy used. This particular name this guy used. Uh, Chinaza Philip. This is not the first time we have been hearing about certain Chinaza Philip. In 2019, we heard about another Chinaza Philip that was arrested by the Nigeria police. And that was the memo uh, posted on October 9th, 2029. Sorry, 2019. 2019, there was this certain Mrs. Chinaza Philip that was arrested. Mrs. Chinaza Philip was arrested by the police division after police traced the bank account which her mother has been used to defraud some victim and escape in Lagos. Chinaza Philip is a name that has been used before. What a coincidence. You know, in the midst of all those kidnapping issues, please, eh, we don't need this kind of uh, this kind of confusion. So, if this girl indeed is saying the truth, let her further come and come out, make a video to tell the world that her brother is not a kidnapper, that her brother told her that police, some certain police people were paying paid in money to act as a kidnapper. If not that, then I will, the guy is a kidnapper there. I don't believe that guy is not a kidnapper. I cannot, dis, I can never defend such guy. Did, did you know how they defended their events? As at that time, they said he was not a kidnapper. The, girl, the lady that forged results, they defended him. They, sorry, defended her. Later, they discovered she forged results. So many people were have defended online. So let us take it slow a little bit. There are actual people who have been kidnapped. Actual people who have been kidnapped. All those people need redemption. They need freedom. So please, certain things, eh? Well, we do not know though. We're still going to be watching and looking and hope. Then let's talk about this story at the airport. Hmm? So you saw this man begging. Apparently, he's a fan uh, official. So, that man that gave him a dirty slap came to the airport. He was trying to fly out of the country. He was trying to fly out of uh, uh, fly out of the country to Ghana, and this guy stylishly slipped drugs apparently drugs into the guy's luggages of very fortunate for the guy the guy was sharp to detect and he approached the fan or officials and told him what did you put in my luggages the guy couldn't explain they say open what you put in my luggage so according to the person that was slapping the guy, the guy who owns the luggages, said that this man was trying to put smuggled drugs into his luggage. Lots of guys have been arrested abroad eh, with drugs in, inside their luggage. And if you ask them, hmm, they will tell you they don't know how those drugs come about. And you know one thing, if you catch a thief, if you say this man is a thief, they say this man is a thief. And they catch is something there's they, they saw something in his bag. Apparently, that person stole. Of course, it's really, really hard to believe that person is not the one that actually stole the stuff. Meanwhile, they saw the thing in your bag. And sometimes when the person is apologizing or begging and saying, I, I'm not a thief, we easily say, Oh, that's how they behave. Immediately they are caught, they will say they are. They are not artists, they are this and that, they start giving stories. People need to be extremely careful out there. Need to be extremely careful. Traveling abroad and you and you put something in my luggage. That is why people buy a padlock nowadays. Padlock. And if you want to get this bag, make sure the bag you are getting, eh? It's just, it has only just one zip. 
It doesn't have extra pocket here. It doesn't have extra pocket here. Just one pocket. You just zip it. One zip. So that nobody can penetrate, put things from the other side. Please go and get those luggages that are just one zip that you can lock with your key. No extra pocket. No extra pocket because these guys, uh, they are extremely wicked. That is why people also also wrap their luggages. You see someone with key, he, that person has already locked uh this our luggages but you will still see that person wrapping luggages you keep wondering this is the kind of things that person is trying to avoid he doesn't want to run into trouble that he or she didn't plan for and this happened in uh, lagos airport murutala Mohammed international airport in lagos please be extremely careful please be extremely careful this guy will have <laughs> well, gone... well the guy is extremely lucky honestly people have been arrested before over something they don't know anything about over something they don't know nothing about he is he is indeed lucky <laughs> 